this video, we'll be finding the height of the fulcrum of a first-class lever. We will also be finding the height of the effort or the load. This video came as a viewer request. So you have a first-class lever with a load force that is 1 meter away from the fulcrum or pivot point and an effort that is 2 meters from the fulcrum. How tall must the fulcrum be to allow the load to be lifted 0.75 meters from the ground? The way we will solve this problem is by using the principle of similar triangles. The ratio of the height over the hypotenuse of one triangle will be the same as the other triangle if the angles of both triangles are the same. So we will take the height of 0.75 meters at the load end and divide by the total length of the lever. We will then set it equal to the height of the fulcrum, which is an unknown, over the distance to the effort end from the fulcrum. After rearranging this formula, we get 0.5 meters for the height of the fulcrum. Now let's do the same problem, but this time using the height at the effort end. Once again, we use the rule of similar triangles, and we take the height at the effort end and divide by the total length of the lever. We then set this equal to the height of the fulcrum over the distance from the load to the fulcrum. After rearranging the formula, we get 0.5 meters for the height of the fulcrum. To finish off this video, let's do a problem where we are trying to figure out how high the effort will be if we have a fulcrum that is a height of 0.25 meters high, a load that is 1 meter from the fulcrum, and an effort that is 2 meters from the fulcrum. Using the rule of similar triangles, we take the height of the effort, which is the unknown, over the length of the lever and set it equal to the height of the fulcrum over the distance to the load. Doing some algebra to rearrange this problem, we get 0.75 meters as the height of the effort. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy one of these videos. Thank you for watching.